So they're running around right now. I'm just gonna tell you guys the story really, really quickly. So yesterday I noticed this like bug. I'll put a picture of it after I squished it. It's disgusting, but I thought it was a cockroach, but it turns out apparently it was a beetle. Um, so I panicked. I was like, oh my God, we have an infestation. Like I have to just, I have to get the ferrets out. I have to do all this stuff to the room. I brought them to somebody else's house um, for the night. I also have been hearing scratching like in the walls down here. Or, or I heard, thought that it was down here and I thought it was one of the ferrets, but then I put the, all four of them back and I still heard it and I was like, oh my gosh. I thought there was a mouse in the room and thought there was a mouse in my treadmill and their wee wee pad box everywhere. Turns out, I think there's like a chipmunk in the wall cause uh, they live in the basement and like there's been like animals, rodents in the walls a few times before now, like in our house. But so like I panicked and I brought them to somebody else's house for the night. And then I like did a deep clean of the room with my mom. Um, we like, I sprayed this like pet safe, like bug stuff in the corners, let it dry completely. It says pets are allowed and pets and children are allowed on it after it dried, but just to be on the safe side, like I left it all day, it dried. Then I also like mopped the entire floor and like swift, swifted, swiffered, swiffered the floor to make sure that it was all gone. Um, I left like the window open, whatever, all that stuff to fumigate it. But oh my gosh, I was panicking. And it turns out we like, I was positive. We had like an infestation. I was like, I'm gonna have to, take them somewhere else like they're not gonna be able to stay down here clean the entire room not a single mouse not a single any sorry about that it kind of like cut out um zuna's doctor actually called and they said that her tumor was a low grade soft tissue sarcoma with a very low 510 percent chance of spreading so yay that's awesome and then her other lump was was confirmed to be a benign lipoma which is just like a fatty lump so that's all great news and hopefully it doesn't spread or hopefully um he said that they got it with clean margins so there should be no cancerous cells in her body at all to even like potentially spread because they can't spread if there's no cells left so yeah that's awesome um what i was saying before though was that i was 100 percent convinced that we had an infestation just because i saw one because i always get myself like worked up and when you know when you google stuff and it says oh if you find one there's always more so like i checked i deep cleaned the whole basement i checked everywhere could not find a single other one so i'm assuming it was just a lone a lone traveler just walking on in the basement i don't know um, and what I was saying too is that we've had we've had mice in the basement before, just like normal field mice that any anybody gets because our basement's connected to like the boiler room and so they have gotten in before. We've tried to like seal everything off, but so I heard something scratching, thought it was in the treadmill, then I thought it was in their wee wee pad box. I ripped apart the whole basement with my mom. I was literally wearing like rain boots down here because I was so scared. I don't I'm not scared of mice, but like I love obviously all animals and like small animals like this, but it's just the bugs, like the beetle. I was positive that it was like a cockroach we're gonna have to get like a huge thing done but turns out it was a beetle so that's good um but anyway so i had to take them i took them yesterday to somebody else's house and they pooped of course right in the cage i typically try to take them out and like let them play and like let them get it all out before i bring them somewhere and i thought that they all went when i before i brought them yesterday but nope they pooped right in their new bed that i got them of course but whatever that's fine then I clean them off there, or I just like rinse them with a little bit of water because you're not supposed to bathe them, which I'll get into next, but, or you're not supposed to bathe them often. Um, and then I ended up doing the entire room, the cage, everything, cleaned it, brought them back home. So now we're home now. And <laughs> when I was bringing them home, I was like trying to get them home as quickly as possible. So like I didn't let them out to play before. And one of them pooped in the cage and it just dripped, or like the other carrier cage, dripped down the entire cage. I swear like each one of them took turns like sliding in the poop. And I was like in the car and I was like, I could just smell it. And I, when I got to a red light, I like looked at them. Literally each one of them was like sliding down, <laughs> into, sliding down from the poop into the back of the cage. So I was like, okay, great. Well, this will give me an opportunity to try the oatmeal bath that everyone suggests. Cause I only bathe them. I used to use the tea tree oil that everybody says is not good or the, like the tea tree ferret specific shampoo, which I mean, it's probably Marshall's or something brand. So I understand like what that it's not good. And I, and I know not that you're not supposed to bathe them often at all because if they just produce more oils and it's not good for their skin, it dries them out and they don't need baths at all. Like they don't, that's not natural for them at all. So I only ever bathe them when it's absolutely necessary anyway. Like if they'll get poop all over them or something like that. And this time it was necessary. They were covered. Every single one of them was absolutely covered. So yeah, I tried it out and I will insert that video or insert, I will put that video next. Um, but yeah, I hope I did it right. I put the oatmeal in a sock. Well, whatever, you'll just see it. This is what we're working with. Oh, yep, love that. Everywhere. All over them. Oh, there goes Mark, hey, do I mean? 
all over them. Yeah, it's on his back. two at a time so jinxie first hi jinxie and then i believe what you do is you just put it you put the oatmeal water on them kind of let them just soak in it okay it's okay you want to make the water not too high so they can still stand in it no you gotta stay in you gotta stay in i'm sorry Now she's just chilling next to the oatmeal sock. As you can see, I'm actually going to do it one at a time just because it's easier. Next up we have Pina. She actually kind of likes the water. She'll usually just swim around like this. Next I'll do Kitty Doe. He absolutely hates the bath. I'm sorry, Kitty Doe. I'm sorry. He does not like it whatsoever. Good boy, good boy. Sorry that Pina is making a huge mess in the background and that's a lot of noise, but now we have Nar Nar. He's really good in the bath. He doesn't seem to ever mind it. Let's put it on him. So yeah, now I clean the entire cage too, just in case, because like I said, I was just convinced that we had like a bug infestation and all this stuff. So I took everything out, I deep cleaned it again. And yeah, I'm just gonna put everything back together again. Hey, Jinxie. Do you guys wanna know how psycho I am? I literally had the camera pointed directly at the treadmill over here, cause that's where I first thought that I heard something. I had it pointed at that all night and I was checking my phone the entire night to see if anything ever came out of the treadmill. Then when nothing happened, I was convinced that it was in this wee wee pad box over there before I cleaned everything out, but I put it back. Um, then I had the camera pointed at that thing the entire day I was at work, still nothing happened, so <laughs> I guess it's something in the wall, but I was just so, so paranoid. The speed bump master's at it again. Exhausted from a long day of pooping and stepping in it. They're mad at me right now because everything is still in the dryer. I washed it before, and so I'm just waiting for everything to fully dry before I put it back in the cage, and they're all mad at me. They're like, where is all of our stuff? Why are you looking at me like that, Kato? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Unless you guys have it so rough. You have it so rough, don't you? I got them this cute little Tupperware, though. Look how cute the purple is for all of their clean stuff. There's a whole bunch more that I am washing right now. And now the cage is done. I put the rest of their stuff in there. Kitty Doe is eating as per usual. Thank you so much for watching another one of our little adventures. I hope you enjoyed their little bath time, story time experience that I had the past two days. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching all of our videos as usual. Thank you so much for everything. I don't even know. I just always feel like I have to say thank you so much because we appreciate all of your love so, so, so much. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. There'll be more cuteness coming your way. Um, I'm probably gonna make a video when Nara finally gets his results back from his lymph node aspiration. And yeah, I have a few more, more ideas in my brain. But I will say that giving ferrets bath is no, no small feat. <laughs> it is no, it is no task for the faint of heart is that the expression i don't know um but actually definitely i think i like 
doing the doing it the oatmeal way it's much better than shampoo anyway and obviously i know it's so much better for them so yeah i'm a big fan i like it i like just having them soak in there and they smell better not that they smelled bad before but yeah they smell they smell nice and it's supposed to be much healthier for their skin so that is a win all around all right i don't even know what i'm saying anymore so thank you so much for watching we love you Mwah. Mwah.